Hey, y'all. Thank you for tuning in to Divine Feminine Tarot Tea, okay? If you like what you see, please go ahead, like, share, subscribe, okay? Do not be afraid to go on ahead on and hit that bell, 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 okay? If you would like to be here every single time, me and the tea team are up, off, up in here, getting it in with all of these good old tarot messages mm, 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 okay please do like this video like this video like this video if you would like a personal reading from me please go ahead and hit me up at dftarot at gmail.com all readings are 44 dollars and 44 cents and do have a 48 hour turnaround time uh, okay y'all let's go ahead and jump into it i'm gonna get right to it y'all somebody out there you got a friend you got a friend you got a friend um, that has told you some pretty disturbing things about someone you're dating. Um, they are like, you're a fool. You shouldn't be dating that person. That person don't even like you. And somebody out there, you, it, this is lingering in the back of your mind. You're saying to yourself, should I believe this? Or should I just like, is she just a hating ass bitch? Or is she really a friend with my best interest at heart? Okay. Somebody is confused. This person may even be a sibling, um, or a cousin, and you're, you're confused because you're like, you know, are they really just, are they hating on me? Or do they really see something wrong? Because you don't see what, they, whatever it is they're saying, you don't see it personally. So you're like, I don't know if I should be listening to this. You know, you're confused. Are they, are they really putting me on to something that I'm just too naive to see? Or is this man really no good? So we're about to go ahead and ask that question of the cards. Okay. Um, very good question. Is this a situation where <coughs> someone, <clears throat> okay, someone that you actually um, are right about is just being hated on by a bogus cousin or a friend or a family, whatever? And, or is this a situation where somebody is really letting you know that you're being a damn fool right now, okay? So we're about to look into this to see, you know, what's really happening here on spiritually. Like, let's look into it and see what's going on. So, Spirit Seeking Clarity, we want to know who is this man that our sister is dating, okay? Out there in the collective, somebody, you are seeing someone. And we're just about to look into, first and foremost, what are his feelings for you looking like? That'll kind of give us a direction of, an idea of which direction to go in, okay? In terms of pulling the cards, Okay, trapped, tied up, okay? Hmm, we come out the gate with that, okay? Trapped and tied up, commit to me, okay? I'm already getting a vibe, y'all. This man is controlling. First thing, first thing that's coming out, this man is controlling. I'm scared. Yeah, this man is controlling. Mm. Um, this is the type of man we get that I'm scared that that's like anxiety is what I'm getting. You know, the type of man that's anxious about their woman being around other men and that type of thing. Mm. This man is controlling. Okay, something is already showing up on the board here. Okay, money issues. Ah, mm -mm -mm, that fell out. Okay, take it easy. Okay, okay, okay. There is some love potion here. Like this man got money issues, but I don't think he's gonna make it your problem. Okay, so that's that's something. He has money issues, but I don't really think he's gonna like be asking you for money. Him having money issues is gonna affect the relationship regardless. But we don't just see him outright asking you for money. Um. Okay, it is going to be very important that you use your intuition. Intuition is a big part of the conversation when it comes to this masculine, okay? Are you real? You need to really ask that question of this masculine. Is he really being 100% sincere? Okay, there are some things that need to be addressed mm, as it relates to this masculine, okay? I am captured by your beauty. This man is certainly around because he can't believe how fucking fine you are, girl. He like, I got me a bad one. Okay, so he is around for that. You know, that's, that's like sincere. Love overflowing. So this man does have a genuine interest in you. We, we were at least able to establish that much. Okay, there is a genuine interest that exists 
um, in this man as it relates to you. So we do have that confirmation. We, we, we okay. Whoever this is, it's like, ah, he, that, he does have feelings for you now, but we see some troubling character traits that did pop up. Okay. I get lost in your eyes. Again, it does not get any more beautiful to him than you. Okay. That's, ain't no sense in us even, we don't even have to question that. That, that is what that is. You will leave me, but again, we're coming back to this kind of controlling, anxious, paranoid. You know, I'm literally, I am literally just heard the type to lock her in the closet. I'm, I'm not trying to freak you out. I literally did just hear that, okay? So there are some insecurities with this man. Um, I don't think at this point it takes a genius to know that spirit is pointing us towards the possibility that his insecurities center around the fact that he has money issues because that jumped out at us. So this is a man that doesn't really know why you're with him. Okay. He's insecure because he doesn't really have the funds. Um, he's, he's confused. He doesn't even quite believe that he deserves a woman that looks like you because he knows that he feels like beauty attracts money and he doesn't have it. So, Insecurity is an issue, and it's possible that this cannot work due to these insecurities. This man believes that it can't work, okay? You would want me, I don't even I don't have what you're looking for. You didn't say that, okay? One thing to reconcile, this is the type of man that's not, he's, it's going to be difficult to get rid of him, just so you know. Um, there is kind of some rotten energy present here. We see what it is, Spirit. Thank you so much. We see what the, the rotten energy is, y'all. This man... He's controlling because he's insecure about his finances. And he acts out emotionally. He will try to kind of put you in bondage, trapped, tied up. Okay? You know, you can't leave this house until. Okay? Um, Y'all, well, we're just going to keep reading, okay? Um, yeah. I am lost. This man is a bit lost, Okay? And um, that's never, obviously, that's never the best person to be in a relationship with, whether they're male or female. It's never great to have to try to deal with a person that is lost. Um, that's just, you know, common sense. Because um, if he lost, he don't know where he's going. So where the hell can he take anyone else? He also seems lost as to why you would want him. Um, because he knows his bank account ain't sitting on, you know, zeros um not that that's what you all about but this is what he's going through he's like i got this beautiful woman i'm not going to be able to keep her because i have finance problems no one said that okay but this this is this is essentially something that he's struggling with whether you said it to him or not um <sighs> so there are some problems okay there are some problems. Okay. But you know, before we delve into that, um, cause there's there's some issues, y'all. That's just that's just what it is. Um where where is the cousin coming from? Or the friend or the, the homie or whoever wherever it is um that felt like they could have been your mother. Somebody felt like somebody needs to tell you that you you making a fool of yourself right now. And you just don't know where they're coming from. You didn't know if they was just jealous because you found someone, you know, or if they really had legitimate concerns. Well, let me tell you, girl, they have legitimate concerns that we've established that. Um, and so let's just let's just check this out. OK. Um, let's just check it out. All right. What, where are they coming from? Their legitimate concerns hinge around what? What did they tell you they thought was going to happen? They came at you and was like, I just feel like what? Funeral. Listen, somebody is afraid this man may become violent with you and you could end up out of here. Somebody took it that far. They said, uh-uh. Okay, they, they concerned. Um, Five of Cups energy. They're concerned that this man could become crazy um somebody told you they're afraid that he has a sex addiction somebody is telling you this because they've heard something i'm letting you know they might not be telling you what they've heard but they've heard something i mean if it's an older feminine for some of y'all it is she's comparing him to another man in her life she's saying is he just like charlie ass you know she's giving that type of tea 
For some of y'all, the older feminine, listen, some of y'all, I just heard this. The older feminine that warned you about this man was an older feminine in his family. His auntie, his big sister, his mama, his grandma, his aunt. You should be listening to that. That Take that seriously, okay? Fucked up over you. Know that if you try to pull back or leave, um, this man would take it hard. Someone told you that. Somebody said he's the type that you ain't gonna be able to get rid of. Somebody said he's the type that would, he's the type that would. And you just didn't want to hear that. Somebody telling you he's the type that would. You felt like you don't even know him like that. Okay, for those of y'all where it was somebody in your camp, you was like, you don't know him. Okay, but they, they smelled that Jezebel spirit. And they smelled that this was going to be a karmic situation that you're going to have to learn from. Um, this person and you have had a kind of off on hot cold relationship since they said this because you was in your feelings a little bit like why are you just going to try to hate on me when I found somebody they're not hating on you honey okay they're not hating on you this person may end up blocking you I'm going to tell you I, I think this is fucked up but people do it all the time this person may end up blocking you if your situation gets too dire because they can't take it when it gets toxic they're going to run they're going to say I'm not going to be here and listen to it which makes them an ain't shit person if you ask me but that's another conversation for another day Okay, um, okay, this person, yeah, they may get a little shady when shit gets bad because they're going to feel like I told you and I'm not going to go through this with you. <coughs> okay, <clears throat> and from this person, you would find yourself secluded if things got really, really rough. So, you know, this person has some ugly ways. So I can see why you thought, why well, I ain't finna listen to her ass, she, you know, because they got a little, they, they, this person is a little crusty, let's put it that way, and how they deal with people. But what you do need to know is that they are not wrong about this man. They're not wrong. Okay. They are not wrong. Um, unfortunately. Okay. Um, so let's look and see, you know, what actually is next. Okay. Between you and this man, what actually is next up? What, what, what actually is um, next in line? For this uh, connection, because yeah, it, it is it is toxic, sis, um, and it's, it's toxic strictly because this man is insecure. We haven't really seen anything else. Um, you know, he's not really somebody that can be relied on, and that's too bad. But it is what it is. Um, yeah, the chariot. Okay, one thing about it. You and this man do have a lot of passion between y'all, and it is kind of keeping y'all connected, keeping y'all tied together in a sense. Um, we see the devil. It's a lot of good passion. It's some great sex. Y'all know them crazy ones always got that, that wood, okay? That's, that's understood. But it's some great shit going on in terms of passion. Um, that is kind of what was making you say, well, I don't see what the problem is because you like, y'all have such a passionate connection. You just wasn't trying to hear all that. Um, but I'm okay. Six of swords. Things are going to change sis. Um, this is the heated part of the relationship. The, the, the part he's not love bombing you or anything. He is this passionate, but what you need to understand is that that's kind of the problem here. That's the devil card. See, as he becomes more passionate about you, so does his jealousy. So does the possessive behavior. Um, so does, you know, so does the... There's, there's a lot of problems um, present with this man um, in terms of his ability to connect to women in a healthy way and not say he thinks he has to over hold on to you, be possessive and be basically toxic because he really does believe that he doesn't have this thing about not having money, y'all it's, it's destroying him, it's eating him up. He doesn't see all of the good in him. You like, oh my God, I got this passionate man. He That ain't money to him, okay? He feel like this man is having a lot of sex with you partly because he's trying to make himself useful because he feel like he can't afford to have you out here. You know what, what John Legend say? Maybe, baby, Puffy or Jay-Z would all be better for you because all I can do is love you. See, he feel like you need to go and get you, and it's funny, right? 
people talking about Puffy and Jay-Z, you know, they was the big fish back then. Baby, we didn't learn some shit about them that make them despicable to mention in a song, but we ain't even gonna go that route right now. That's another conversation, another reading, another day. But this man is feeling like that, like you the type of girl, he's looking at you like, you know, like you a cheerleader or something, like that type of hot girl that's supposed to be with the foot, the star football player, basketball player, and he feel like, here I am over here, the broke nerd. Girl, you ain't never called this man no broke nerd, but that's how he feel. And he's saying, why is she over here with me? She not going to want to be over here with me. I don't have what she need. You ain't never told that man nothing like that. See, he got some shit going on in his own mind. This, when I say this don't have nothing to do with you, sis, it has nothing to do with you. He got some shit going on in his head um, that he needs to work through with, the, I'm going to tell you, with a therapist. This man really needs therapy. Okay? He really needs therapy. Um, you know, he's. it doesn't look like he's getting it. Six of Pentacles energy is coming through in the reverse. Okay? Six of Pentacles energy. I'm sorry, Six of Pentacles energy coming through in the upright with the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse and the Knight of Swords. Um, this man is also going to try to make you feel guilty about having money. You're going to run into that problem. <coughs> Queen of Pentacles in reverse, Six of Pentacles. You have money. You may even have money to spare. And, and we're talking, we're not even talking on major. You can afford to buy this man. You can afford to buy this man take out food. You can afford to buy, you know, that type of shit. He can't always, you know, sometimes he'd be like, we can have takeout on Friday. You know, he he in that type of situation. We can have takeout on Friday. It'd be good takeout. Y'all might go get lobster. But you're going to have to wait till Friday. And he's going to make you feel bad because maybe you're the type. It's like, it's all cool. It's cool. I get the Chinese food tonight. These are not big deals, but they are for him because we're working with somebody that's got a wounded ego. Okay. And some emotional problems. And he's, he needs to work through them, okay? Because this is the type of thing where he's going to try to rage at you because you have money to, you know, just be independent and live your life, okay? King of Wands energy, okay? Y'all see it? This King of Wands energy. This man is really throwing some sexual energy your way, but this will still end up being a power struggle. And it's still about him trying to have some type of power, you know, penis power, because he doesn't feel he got that dollar power. Okay, like I said, nobody said she was caught up on that, but this is the problem that he's having. He may start cheating on you as well. Three of Cups energy because he feels powerless. We've seen this dynamic a million times. You know, he's basically talking undermining you as he get as he feels worse about himself in your presence. The undermining starts. The insecurity starts because he's going to keep saying to himself, "Why does she want me?" Okay, this man may try to pull you into a family. Via pregnancies or trying to rush the hurry up, let's sign a lease, let's move in together, let's sign some type of legal document that will bind us together. Um, you know, mortgage papers, apartment lease, car loan, something, something that will tie us to each other, okay? He's going to start pushing for something as he becomes more insecure. And as you become more, more, as you become more predisposed to, I'm going to get out of this relationship, and you leaving him because it's self-fulfilling prophecy. He feel bad about himself, so he bitching about money. He dogging you out for having money. He's cheating. He's having mood swings. And you're like, man, I ain't got time for this. Okay, I'll just get out of here. And this is around the time Ace of Cups, we actually see pregnancy energy once again with this Ace of Cups, that he starts with the trying to stealth you, you know, get you pregnant without your permission, or, um, you know, Get you on a lease, a car loan, something that's going to make it where you can't just pick up your pocketbook and go. Okay, hanged man coming through in the reverse. So this man is going to try to actually, as the relationship continues to move forward, it's going to be moving forward with him causing problems, fooling with karmics, and just kind of dragging these ideas that you don't really want him for who he really is. You don't want to hear that shit because you never even said that. Okay. That's what's going to end this relationship. Ace of Wands in reverse, honey. That's going to be the end of this relationship. If this man can't stop whining about the this alleged these insecurities that he has, he needs to be speaking with a specialist. I'm not even saying that to be funny. This That's what it is. This is a man that needs therapy. Maybe you could suggest it to him. 
but he needs therapy. He needs somebody to help him work through his insecurities. He also needs career training. This man is, is he can make more money if he went and got more training. This is, these are not difficult problems to solve, but he's got some underlying self-esteem issues. That's why he needs to go ahead and go to, um, a therapist. Okay. It's, it's unfortunate. Um, it's unfortunate. <sighs> yeah, y'all. This is this is too bad. Um, once you move on from, from the relationship, okay, because it, it, he's gonna bring the house down. There's it, no way that y'all gonna stay in this relationship. He got too many problems. Okay, two of swords. Okay, the devil in the reverse. This man is going to try to hold on to you. Two of swords, the devil, the devil in reverse. You're going to get fed up. You're going to be like, I've had it. Just release me from this shit. Even the sex. Like, I don't even care. I just want to go. We see this man trying to hold on to you with the six of cups. Um, going through a period of intense loneliness. This man is going to go into despair when you leave. However, the positive is that it's going to leave him in a place where he has to self-reflect. You are not the first woman that just couldn't stand it. You're not the first one to go, Okay. Um, you're not, um, this man is going to kind of fall into a space of total despair, kind of, you know, reconnecting with spirit, which is what he needs to do. Okay. And you, you just feel free to just kind of jump into the next adventure. Um, and know that you preserved yourself. Okay. Page of Pentacles, you held yourself in regard. Okay. And allow things to go inactive. So when this is over, okay, the truth of the matter is you're going to have to really kind of get into a no contact vibe with him. Don't call him back. Don't let him over. You're going to have to go ahead and get out of this, okay? Four source energy. Let it die. Go dormant. Get inactive. Um, the truth was being told to you, Ace of Swords and Eight of Swords, that you were going to have to block yourself off from this energy. This, this feminine, whoever she may have been, that you thought may have been hating on you, they were not hating on you at all. Um, it's understandable when people think that somebody's trying to steal their happiness, so I get where you was coming from. But this person truly cares about you. And for whatever reason, maybe life experience, maybe age, maybe their relationship to you. They saw this thing hitting the wall and crashing from a million, a million yards away. Okay. And they just said it. Um, thing about it is this person is prophetic. Okay. Whether they know it or not. And they saw it so early that it was no way for you to know. Okay, this has happened to me before as well. Sometimes when somebody is operating in any type of divini div divination and things, like tarot reading and stuff, you may pick up an energy so early and it hasn't come into the earth plane yet. So the person doesn't, they don't even see how that could happen. Okay, you say like, that's not the right person for you. Well, they still at the, the beginning of the relationship. The person just bought them a whole thing, uh, uh, gardenias. You know, they sitting around together smiling, laughing. And here you come saying, that's some bullshit. They can't imagine it. They like, yo, you hating on me, bro. Because what else could it be? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because it's not in the earth realm yet. They can't see it. So this person needs to understand. And if you're the person, maybe you are the one who said it. That's in the collective listening. You need to learn when it comes to, you know, divination and prophetic energies. You need to learn some finesse. And you need to remove your emotions. And you need to learn divine timing. Okay? There is a time to communicate certain things. It really is, okay? Sometimes it, it, when it's too soon, you can't expose people to the knowledge too soon, okay? They're not going to believe you. They're just not. You know, I've, I've seen it happen with, um, you know, prophetesses that are far older than me, okay? Um, that I grew up under and things like that. Sometimes it can be detrimental to say something too early and it actually encourages the person to walk into the tornado because they they just think you're you're hating or you're pouring salt or you but they're gonna have to walk out the disaster unfortunately to see that you just you just have the vision to see it and you saw it okay if you have enjoyed this divine feminine tarot tea y'all please please go ahead like share subscribe okay don't you never be afraid to go ahead and hit that bell 
okay? If you want to be here every single time, me and the T team are up in here getting it in with all of these good old tarot messages, okay? Again, if you would like a personal reading for me, please go ahead. Don't be scared to hit me up at dftarot at gmail.com. All readings are $44.44 and do have at least a 48-hour turnaround time. Also, if you just have a little tea, you know what I'm saying? You got a little tea for me? Go ahead, hit me up at dftbox at gmail.com. Sometimes it takes me a moment to get back to those readings, but please do understand I will get back to you on that reading, okay? Please like this video. Please like this video. Please like this video. And as always, I will catch y'all fools, okay, in the next one.